We're Jordan and Emily, an Australian couple travelling full-time with a mission to see as much of the world as possible before our money runs out. After finishing a long six-hour hike above the fortress of Kotor, we took a bus to Dubrovnik where we spent one quick and expensive night exploring the city. We then crossed the border into Bosnia and Herzegovina and made our way to the gorgeous town of Mostar. Today is our third day in Bosnia and Herzegovina and we are exploring the beautiful city of Mostar. The plan for today, explore Old Town, see the massive bridge that people jump off of. Of course, eat some delicious food, but most importantly, Bosnian coffee. Almost immediately you can see the Turkish influence here. They ruled here for a few hundred years, so it makes sense that there's a lot of influence. But all the architecture, this bridge that we're on now, the famous one, was originally built by the Turks when they were here too. And everywhere you go, you see like copper pots, like the old Turkish coffee that we tried when we were in Egypt. And we were told very sternly that that is not Turkish coffee, that is Bosnian coffee. So that's what we have to try. Very different thing. <laughs> this is the old bridge in Mostar, and people jump off of this all throughout the day. I believe foreigners can do it. You have to pay like a 25 euro fee to do it. You also have to prove you can jump safely off of like a little baby jump because it is so freaking tall up here. I don't know how anyone does it. A lot of locals also do it. They obviously have done it plenty of times. They essentially walk around getting money from tourists saying, yeah, I'll jump, give me a tip. Once they are happy with how much money they have, over they go. Apparently Mostar got its name because that means Guardians of the Bridge and it used to be it was named after the people at either end of the bridge that would guard it. Yeah. Yeah. So Mostar is like a super unique city. It's like it's all been built around these rivers that they have and like almost into the cliff faces. So all of the terraces from the restaurants have like these little spots and you're just overlooking the river but it looks like just any sort of flat area they're like yep yeah, flatten it out put a chair on it. <laughs> Obviously this region was in a pretty big war not that long ago and there are reminders everywhere. It seems like they've um, done it on purpose to make sure that people don't forget the war. There's even a sign that says don't forget 1993 which I believe was one of the sieges of Mostar. There's also buildings that haven't been brought back yet. So there's ruins with bullet holes and it can be pretty confronting but it's there so people don't forget. Yeah, it's a very unique feel of a town and it's just crazy to think that that's such a recent history mm. it's so sad it looks so tall when you're up standing on the top but then you come down here and somehow it looks scarier looking at the baby board like the practice one i don't even think i could go off the very first one so this area down here it's sort of like under the restaurants and on the river is where everyone comes during the day to watch the people jump Basically, you have to wait around for ages till they get their money, <laughs> but then they jump. <laughs> so we're going to try and come back and catch a jumper. Might have to be here for like two hours, but we'll, we'll try and film a jumper. <laughs> we'll get one. I feel like it's no secret that our favourite thing to do in cities is get up early and see them when there's hardly anyone around. And yet again, it was well worth it. It's amazing. We had more time than we thought we did because we got up for breakfast the other day and there was already people out at like 6.30. But today, we got lucky. Yeah. I just feel like if you're not a morning person, just try it once because you get to experience the city in such a different way. Like it's amazing to be here when it's all hustling and bustling and there's people everywhere and the restaurants are open. But to get to come here and it's kind of just to yourselves, 
I don't know, it's really special. Mm. It's like the two sides of a city. If you like it with all the hustle and bustle and all the people, just do that as well. You get both. Yeah. Do it. Do it. <laughs> but how pretty is this cafe we've come to? It's got the best view of the bridge and it's not that much more expensive than other places we've seen. So we don't have connection in Bosnia and Herzegovina because it's not part of the EU, I think. So we can't Google the actual difference between Bosnian coffee and Turkish coffee. So when we sat down to this restaurant, I just ordered them. I asked the guy, what's the difference? He just laughed at me. <laughs> so we may never know. <laughs> Feel like a hacker. They have a Wi-Fi here and I just got in. The password was so complicated. It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> okay, the difference between Turkish coffee and Bosnian coffee. Bosnian coffee differs from Turkish coffee in the sugar. Turkish coffee is made by adding sugar to the water and the coffee pot, whereas Bosnian version adds sugar to the brewed coffee. So it's all in the sugar. Uh, waiter is really lovely, but I don't think he speaks any English, so I've Googled how to drink this. So, step one, pour coffee into the small cup. Step two, dip the sugar cube into the cup. Step three, rub the wet sugar cube onto your tongue. Step four, take a sip of the coffee. Step five, take a sip of the water. Step six, repeat until finished. I really like it, it's quite strong. It's like a whole different thing going on in your, in your mouth. Sugary to start, so it wakes you up, and the coffee wakes you up more. <laughs> it's really good, I think you'll like it. Whoa. Of course it's amazing because it's co strong coffee and like a massive chunk of sugar. You're basically like having a sugary coffee but you mix it in your mouth instead of in the cup. <laughs> Pretty good. Now that we are caffeinated we need to get something to eat. We're going to get a snack here that Bosnians really like. It's burek. We've actually had it before in Serbia and also in Montenegro and in Croatia and they're all really good. But the Bosnian one is only burek if it's got meat inside. And we've only tried the cheese. So I'm really excited to see what it's like and compare it. Oh, it's amazing. It is really different to the cheese burek. The meat is very like oniony and herby and savory. The pastry is as good as it ever is. I don't know which one I prefer. I do feel like whenever we get to try all these different foods, it's so hard to tell whether you just like the first one because it's your first experience with the food. It's like cheese burek's amazing. This is so different to that. I can't tell which is my favorite. It's like when we tried cow soy for the first time and then we went to an even more popular place cow soy mesai but we preferred the first one i don't know if it's because the first one was actually better or just because it's the first time we've tried it thing i love about burek it's such a good little snack for the morning you can pull apart all of the rings and it just flakes apart it's so delicious there's something about it that reminds me of a dumpling we just got takeaway burek and came to this little park it's really nice had to order coffee to be able to sit here, but no biggie. And we got to meet a dog. <laughs> she was so cute. The owner said, oh, she's just a little baby. <laughs> she was like this big. <laughs> this is incredible. I don't want to start fights in the comments by ranking the Balkan Burricks, but let's just say this is up there. This is one of the great ones. I don't know how to even describe it, but yeah, definitely dumpling vibes but still with the crispy burek flakes. Oh. What's next? We have come to this restaurant to order some traditional Bosnian food. We've ordered klepe, which is like a Bosnian dumpling, and dolma. 
So I have the dolma. It looks really good. I think the thing that's throwing me off is when I think of dolma, I think of the Greek stuffed vine leaves. And this is not that. This gives me more Sama, Romanian Sama vibes. Whoa. <laughs> it's a stuffed capsicum with meat and what looks like rice and then a bunch of sour cream and dill on top. Mm. That is so like rich and comforting and creamy. It really does remind me of the summer in Romania. Very like heartwarming, love filled dish. So I've gone to for the traditional klepe. Apparently the Balkans they have all the different sorts of dumplings. This is the Bosnian version. I don't actually know what's inside it. I'm assuming it's going to be meat because I think it's either meat or cheese. And it wasn't actually on the menu that I saw, so we'll see. And it's got heaps of sour cream on it as well. They love sour cream. That is super nice. The sour cream adds a lot more to it than I thought it was going to. And the dough is kind of like ravioli dough. It tastes amazing. What happened? Dropped a dumpling and it splashed all over me. So good. I think my favourite was the dolma. The dumplings were amazing, but it was just too much sour cream for me. That's like all you could taste. If it was on the side, it would have been really good. The dolma. It just tastes like something that your grandma or mum has made. Like it's so filled with comfort and love. So those two meals and some drinks were 33 Bosnian money. <laughs> but now we're going to go and see if we can see a bridge diver. Bridge diver? Cliff jumper? Bridge jumper? That sounds like it's dodgy. I feel like they're divers. They're like professionals. Except for the tourists, probably. <laughs> Didn't even know it, but we ordered local Mostar beer. Jival. Tastes like beer. Just at the end of the day. We saw one. Saw a jumper. It's crazy how long they're in the air for. Mm. I could never do that. No. He's now a man. I think he's been a man a few times. Probably. Yeah. So cool. See him like splash cold water on themselves so the body's not in shock when they hit the water. It's cool. Really cool. I'm glad we got to see one. Me too. And from over here with a beer. Not bad.